what is up guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can scrape instagram posts using appify and make.com let's get started appify is an incredible tool with pre-built actors that you can use to scrape any website or automate projects so on appify create an account and then after creating an account head over to appify store and here you can search for a specific tool that you'd like to perform a certain function I know example would like to scrape Instagram. So here I'll search for Instagram. And here you will see all the tools that you can use to scrape a particular task on Instagram. So you can scrape individual posts, you can scrape reels, profiles, comments, hashtags, mentions, location, and any other tasks that you like to scrape. You can use any of the tools over here. Now let us try and scrape a post of a particular username and get the data of that particular post i'm going to open the instagram post scraper on a new tab we're going to use the instagram post scraper to scrape posts from this instagram username the maximum post i like to scrape i'll say five and then now to scrape the post from this username i'll click on save and start here you can see that our tool is running and the actor is getting our data you can see that our tool just scraped five posts from our Instagram username. So here we are getting the captions of each post. We are getting the post URL. We're getting the number of comments, the first comment, the number of likes, the date it was posted, and the username of the account. Now we can set up an automation that runs this task from make and add the, all these details to a Google spreadsheet. Now, to set that up on Make, I'll search for Appify, and click on Appify. Here, I'll run a task. I'll create a connection between Make and Appify by adding the API key over here. The API key, you can find it here. You'll copy the API key token and paste it right here. But since I had already created an, a connection, I'm just going to choose my connection. And here I'll choose an, our actor. So our actor is called Instagram Post Scraper. I'll choose to run synchronously. And then here we'll input our JSON. Here I'll go back to our Instagram Post Scraper, then click on JSON. Here I'll copy the JSON, then add it to a JSON formatter. And then click on process to format our json and here we can copy our json and then go back to our automation and paste it right here now we can click on ok and then run our module apify just finished scraping five posts from this username now to get the specific data on apify i'll click on get data set items here i'll copy our default data set id and then I'll choose to hard code it right here for now. For the limit, you can say five, since we are only scraping five posts, then click on okay. Now we can run this module. So we can see the post that we just scraped. You can see the first post, the second post, the third post, the fourth post, the fifth post that we are scraping from Appify. Now we can add this data to a Google spreadsheet. So I've created a spreadsheet where we can add specific data that we like over here. We would like to collect the username, the post date, the number of comments, number of likes, captions, and the Instagram URL profile of that specific username. Back to automation here, search for add a row, add a row module. Here I will search for a spreadsheet. I'll choose sheet one. Then here we can add all the details that we like to add to our Google spreadsheet. So the username, we're going to add on our username right here. Post date. So the timestamp is April. Number of comments, you can say comments count. Number of likes, you can say the likes count. Captions, you can write the, can add the captions. Instagram profile URL, you can input the URL right here. Click on OK. Since we are getting our data, we can remove our data set ID and add the default data set ID right here instead of hard coding it. Then click on OK. So here you can see that our actor is running on AppFi. And you can see right here that the status was a success. And here you can see we're getting the first post, the second one, 
the third, the fourth, and the fifth one. And now we're adding all the necessary data to our Google spreadsheet right here. So here we have added the username of the account, the date the post was posted, the number of comments, the number of likes, the number of captions, and the Instagram profile of the account. You can also add the post URL instead of the profile URL over here. With this simple automation, we have scraped the Instagram content from a specific account and added it to a Google spreadsheet over here. And this is a Google spreadsheet. We can also create another automation that scrapes viral Instagram content using specific keywords on Appify and make.com. So I've created a new scenario and renamed it to scrape viral Instagram content using specific keywords using Appify. Back to Appify. This time around, I'm going to use the Instagram hashtag scraper to scrape viral posts from a specific keyword. So I'll open these on a new tab. So here we can scrape a viral hashtag like music. Then here we can choose the number of posts that we'd like to extract. For example, we can say a thousand posts. Now to do that, I'll click on save and start. Here, you can see that our actor is running and just started the crawler. Let us wait for the actor to get our data. You can see over here, we succeeded in scraping a thousand posts that use the hashtag music on their caption to set up an automation that scrapes viral posts from Instagram. We're going to set up this automation on Make. Here, like we did previously, I'm going to search for Appify. So on Appify, I'll click on run an actor. Now here, I'll choose the right connection. Then here, I'll click on my actor. So the actor that we are using is the Instagram hashtag scraper. So here I'll say run synchronously, and then here we'll add our JSON. I'll go back to our actor. I'll click on JSON, and I'll copy our JSON right here, copy it. I'll paste our JSON and then click on process. Then here I'll copy our JSON and then and here I'll paste our JSON. So this time around, instead of using music, we can scrape posts that have used automation, automations on their posts. And let's say we'd like to scrape on it. To scrape accounts that use hashtag automations on their posts, I'm going to click on OK and run our module. You can see it's running our actor. You can see over here that it was a success. The status was succeeded. And it finished scraping accounts that used hashtag automations on their posts. Now to get the actual posts, here, on our file, I'll click on get dataset item. And I'll copy the dataset ID over here and hard code it right here. You can limit it to 10 instead of 100, and then run our module. This is awesome, so you can see we're getting 10 accounts that use hashtag automation on one of their posts. We can choose to add the data to our Google spreadsheet. So here, I'll search for a row, and then I'll search for a spreadsheet. Our spreadsheet is called scraping sheet, and we want to collect the username, the date the post was posted, the number of comments it got, the number of likes it got, the caption, and the post URL. So here I'll choose the sheet name, which is sheet one. And then here we can add the username. So the username will be this username right here. The date it was posted will be this date over here. Number of comments, we can add the comments count. Number of likes, we can add the likes count. Captions, you can add caption count and the post URL. I'm going to add the URL right here. Then click on OK. This time around, we can decide to change the hashtag. You can say marketing as the hashtag. Then click on OK. And instead of hard coding our data set ID, you can add it and click on OK. And now let us scrape specific accounts that they used hashtag marketing on one of their posts. To do that, I'll click on run once. And we're going to run our actor. Let us wait as it collects the data. Our 
our status was a success and we went ahead and scraped Instagram accounts that use hashtag marketing on one of their posts and we scraped 10 different accounts and we went ahead and added the 10 accounts to our Google spreadsheet right here. You can see that we added 10 accounts that use the hashtag marketing on one of their posts. So when we open our Google spreadsheet, you can see here we are getting their username, date and time they posted, the number of comments the post got, number of likes the post got, the caption of the post, and the URL of the post. If you wanted to get viral posts from a specific keyword, here yeah, we'll add a specific hashtag. We'll have to increase our limit to 1,000, 10,000, or 100,000 in order to have a huge number of accounts that we like to filter. Since now we're just only collecting 10, and most of the posts that we are collecting have been posted only today. So we can see they were posted, all these posts were posted today. All of them, they were just posted recently. And that's why the post did not have a huge number of likes or comments. Now, if you wanted to get viral posts, you'll need to add a specific hashtag over here and a huge limit so you can get posts that were posted like three, four, five days ago and have gone viral. Then over here, you can choose to set up a filter and label it as viral posts. And then the condition will be you like for the likes or views to be more than 10,000 or 100,000. So here you can add like count to equal to 10,000 or 100,000 for a post that went viral. And then click on OK. Now, with this filter, when you run the scenario, it will scrape every single post that has the, the specific hashtag. In this case, let's say we're using travel. So it will scrape all the posts that have hashtag travel as a caption and then we are going to get the accounts right here and then if the post like count is more than a hundred thousand or ten thousand we're going to add it to our google spreadsheet and then over here you will have only accounts that have gone viral and their data so you'll get the number of comments number of likes the caption and the post url and the username of the account that you posted the post now, the other thing that you can do here is on Google Sheets, you can choose to watch new row over here and add this module over here. Just connect it right here. Now, on this spreadsheet, here is where you'll add specific keywords that you like Appify to scrape. So here you can add specific keywords like music, travel, automation, digital marketing, those specific keywords, and then Appify on Appify. Here, instead of marketing, we're going to add the specific keyword, keyword from one of our columns. So for example, on our spreadsheet, we can add a new column called keywords. And then on automation here, we'll watch our spreadsheet. So, so this is a spreadsheet that I would like to watch. The sheet name is sheet one. You can limit it to one, then click on OK. Here you can see all, then click on OK. And here, Instead of adding the hashtag manually, you can add the keywords right here. And then the limit, you can choose to assign a specific limit. And then click on OK. Now, all you have to do is just come and add specific keywords right here and run your automation on over here. And it will run our actor from Appify, scrape the specific accounts that have used a specific hashtag that you added to our Google spreadsheet right here. And then it will get the specific accounts. It will filter them according to virality. So if a post has more than 10,000 likes, we are going to add it to our Google spreadsheet over here. And now at the end, you'll have viral accounts with the specific username that posted their post, the date and time the post was posted, the number of comments the post got, the number of likes, the caption of the post, and the post URL right here. We're just setting up the simple automation on make.com. So this is a simple automation that you can set up right now to scrape viral Instagram content using specific keywords on Appify and make.com. If you have an automation or a system in mind that you'd like for me to create, just comment down below in the comment section. I'll read all the comments. And if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to set up the entire automation from scratch. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.